Welcome guys to a brand new series to my channel and it is a new career mode series. This is the Mana Revival career mode, the series where we're going to be driving for Mana on the way back to what was last season, probably one of their best seasons ever. And we're going to try and get some more points for the team, driving for the team and see where we finish in the standings. This is a series I'm going to be doing a weekly thing and hopefully get maybe two or one to two videos a week out of this for you guys to enjoy. It's going to be, this is completely separate to my main career mode series so don't worry guys, I haven't forgotten about that because that other career mode will be out next week, it will be the first round there. But this one is the pilot episode of this Mana Revival and the concept is pretty simple, we're going to be driving for Mana throughout the whole season, 50% races with long race weekends which you've seen. And obviously, traditionally with myself, there's going to be no assists. Mods will be installed as well, which I'll put up in the description below of this video. So we're kicking it off then. We sadly didn't do any winter testing because obviously Man have had some issues trying to get into the sport again. So we've joined the team. We're teaming up. Uh, we're going to be as Roberto Merhai. I think I got the name wrong. So if someone can help me with that in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're teaming with Wall Stevens. Uh, he's the number one driver for the team. So we're here at Albert Park, Australia for the first round. Who would have thought Mana would be on the grid on there? So we're going to be getting into our car for the first time. And it's going to be a very challenging series. I have tested the Mana out. And it isn't the quickest car, I will admit. So it's going to be very difficult. So we're going to go straight into practice. Miss all the introductionary stuff that you get when you start career mode in when you get into the garage. So we're going to be doing a prime run stint for the time being, just to get a feel for the car. Not changing anything to the setup, just going to go straight out, see what the performance of the car is and see how it's going to go. So we're going to leave our uh, garage now, because it's got a nice little camera view there, which I'm going to be using for the entire season on there. And uh, as you can tell, uh, if you guys want to know how to get the mod for what I'm using for this uh, 2015 style season, I'll put a link in below. So we're going to skip now to our first lap. First proper lap then in the mana car as we're going to be breaking into turn one. Bit, bit of a push there on the car, but we get through turn one and two easily on the, on these prime tyres, which do need to warm up very quickly, but it does take a while because these are the harder tyre of the two compounds here at Australia. We have the yellow striped option tyre, which you'll probably see later in this episode on there. So for me, this was just to get familiarised familiarized with the car. And it seems pretty stable so far, not really doing anything to the setup as much that I intended to do. But we're saying a decent 31-2 for our first uh, ever lap in the Mana car on there. So uh, let me guys know what you think about Mana returning. Do you think they'll be back to where they were before? Uh, last season with Jules Bianchi's fantastic performance in Monaco. Will Mana get to that stage again? I hope they do honestly, but... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So going through the middle sector, it seems like a pretty smooth lap this is from ourselves here. As we're going to get into the final sector, which on this game is very hard for anyone on a wheel. Because the traction is just atrocious around this last sector. Mainly the last corner, which you will see later in the, the episode as well. So we're, gonna we're taking it nice and smoothly in lean as well as we take feather through the last corner as you can see there so we're going to get back onto the DRS down the straight we go and we are going to get a 133.7 for our first lap so that's a good thing as we see Kimi Raikkonen there coming out of the pits there just blocking us a bit there but nothing too serious we're just going to take it smoothly and off on our way so we're going to now continue on the lap I believe and uh, we're going to see our second lap it was a bit slow but due to that uh, bit of an unfortunate moment in turn one with Kimi Raikkonen we had to bail out of that lap as such on there so had a bit of oversteer there on the exit of turn two so we're going to be boxing this lap as we have I think that's Sebastian Vettel behind us as uh, is Vettel uh, he goes past us there so we kind of blocked him on that lap Daniel Kvyat as you can see is the quickest man at the minute with a 31.8 with Will Stevens behind us so we are beating our teammate and my goal this season is to first for the first few races of this season beat our te teammate and then work our way up through the teams. Try and fight with the likes of McLaren, Honda, who are really struggling at the minute uh, on in the mod that I'm using, as well as the likes of maybe challenging Lotus, potentially. We'll have to wait and see on there as we go back into our box. And now, 
we're going to be going on to the option stint now for the last uh, few minutes of uh, practice here, the final round of practice as we're currently last. Obviously, this is we've just done the prime tyres. Everyone else has gone to the option, so we're going to see how our car is feeling just a bit now as we're going to be breaking into turn one now. Breaking just after the 100 meter board there, and it seems pretty stable so far, like we did on our first prime run. On there, deploying the DRS down the straight towards turn three, and we're getting a bit more confident to the car now. As uh, did a few tweaks to the aero, dropped it a few clicks down just to see what the difference is. And we just go a bit wide again onto that curbing, but it's deemed legal as we keep two wheels on the track there. So we're up seven tenths on our best lap. So it's a good start there. Half a second of Hamilton in the first sector, which is all kind of obvious because uh, Hamilton is in a Mercedes on there, which is pretty damn quick on this mod, I'll say. Bit of an aggressive line through that corner, but we do get away with it as we're going to be going on to the back straight now for what it will be the final time in this episode uh, as we've only got 16 seconds left to go in, quali in uh, practice. sorry, And we're up by a second now, so we are dramatically improving. Only 1.2 behind Hamilton, so I was thinking at this point, that this could be a very good session for us to be round about the 1.5 second mark just a bit too early into that corner there which has ended our exit speed and through this nice sweeping right hander we had to shift down due to the cars the car not having enough downforce so we do need to look into that for qualifying as the checkered flag is out for this practice session and we're going to take it nice and smooth out the final corner deploy the DRS as we're going to come across the line will we improve on the option tyres and that answer is yes getting a second on our best time there and really that's it really I can't really say any more but second to last but I'm not really too bothered about that it's just getting the car used to that on there but next time is the qualifying in the race hopefully you'll be there please let me know if you want to see more of this then hit that like button but until next time guys please subscribe to my channel for more F1 content and we shall see you for episode one of the Mana Revival series hope you guys have a great day see you later